Hi, in this video I'm looking at doing this integral here of x plus 1 over 4 plus x squared. Now, at first glance this looks like it could be a integration by substitution because the denominator 4 plus x squared, if I let that be u, would derive to be 2x. But we don't have a 2x on top, that would cancel out, or anything that's just an x, we have an x plus 1. So that wouldn't work. It looks like we could do integration by partial fractions, using the partial fractions to separate, separate this out. But we can't factorize this nicely into something of two bracketed terms. So let's try by just separating out our fraction. So I've got this fraction here and I can separate it into its two parts. I can separate it into the first part, x over 4 plus x squared dx, and its second part, 1 over 4 plus x squared dx. Now I know I can do this because I've got x plus 1 on top, so I can have two separate fractions added together. The left fraction, x on 4, 4 plus x squared, the right fraction, 1 over 4 plus x squared, and I can split up the integral while I do that as well. And so now I've got these two separate integrals I can do. And these are much closer to stuff that I can do. If we have a look at just our integral of x over 4 plus x squared dx, as I said, this looks like a substitution, and it almost is now, because I've got x squared, which we know goes to 2x, but that means I need a 2x to have cancel out. So I need to somehow get this to have a 2x on top. Well, I can get a 2x by multiplying by 2, but that means that I also need to multiply by a half, so that way I cancel out our half and our 2 to just get x. Now, instead of having this half out the front there, I'm going to move it all the way out the front here. And now let's have a look at doing our substitution. So let's let u be the 4 plus x squared. So then we have du dx is going to be 2x, which means we can replace the dx with du on 2x. So our integral will become, we're going to leave that half out the front, the integral of the 2x that we've got here over u because u is the 4 plus x squared, so we've got over u, times by du on 2x. And so now our 2x's cancel out, and we get left with a half integral of 1 on u du, which integrates to, well, 1 on u gives us ln u, and we've got our half out the front here. And putting our u back in, we've got a half ln of 4 plus x squared. And if that was the only integral, we would have plus c, but I'll leave our constant till we've done the other integral. If we have a look at our second integral here, 1 over 4 plus x squared dx, this integral almost looks like it's one of our inverse trigs because if we have the integral of a over a squared plus x squared with respect to x, then that's inverse tan of x on a plus c. And so we've almost got the form we've need, and we've got an x squared, we've got 4, which is 2 squared, so I've got an a squared, which is 2 squared, which means I would need a 2 on top to match my pattern, but I don't have a 2 on top. Well, that means I need to do the same trick I did over here. I need to multiply by 2 to give us 2, and then multiply by a half to cancel out that 2. But again, we'll bring that half out the front. So instead, we have a half times the integral of 2 over 4 plus x squared dx. And so now we do have our pattern, and I can write it out so that we can definitely see our pattern. We have 2 over 2 squared plus x squared dx. 
And so we know that if I've got 2 over 2 squared plus x squared, or a number over that number squared plus x squared, I can go to inverse tan of x over that number. So we can have a half times the inverse tan, arctan, of x over our number 2 that we've sorted out, plus c which we don't need right now because we're going to end up joining these together and having an overall plus C. So now if I go and put our parts together, I've got our first half, x over 4 plus x squared, which we've integrated to be a half outside the natural log of 4 plus x squared. And then we're going to add on our second half, which we've worked out to be a half inverse tan of x over 2. And now we can of course have plus c overall. And I can tie this up a little bit just by taking out these two halves out the front. So I can have a half outside of the natural log of 4 plus x squared plus a, uh, the half is out the front so we just have a tan, inverse tan, of x over 2 and overall that is then got a constant at the front at the end so that's it our integral of x plus 1 over 4 plus x squared with respect to x is a half of ln outside of 4x uh, ln of 4 plus x squared plus inverse tan of x over 2 plus C.